going to be taking a plaque sample on our patient, Gwen. Wait. Um, <laughs> all right, so to do this, we place a little bit of this isotonic solution on a glass slide. Okay. And then we just, I just take a uh, periodontal probe and kind of just, just gently, you want to tease that plaque out from under the gum line in one of the deep, a deeper area. And you don't need much. Just a little tiny bit will do, and I usually sample a few different areas to make sure that we're getting the worst of the worst. Just You want to tease it off of the uh, tip of your probe or tip of your instrument, because you want to try not to disturb that plaque as much as possible. Like I said, I usually sample different areas, usually different areas of the mouth. I didn't get anything. His teeth are too clean. See, that's a nice problem to have. But it doesn't take much to, there's a tiny little bit on the end of my probe. And when, with somebody with fairly clean teeth, you take what you can get. So if you get a little tiny bit on there, that's usually good enough. It'll give you something. And I'll try one other area. I usually do two or three areas. So this area is a little bit deeper there. We'll go in there and just try to tease a little bit of plaque out of there. No luck there but you want to try to leave it as undisturbed as possible. Well, now there's bleeding. See, if there's bleeding, you're going to get a bunch of red blood cells, and that's going to... that's really not of any diagnostic value. There's a little bit on there, so we'll use that. Okay, so what we're going to do is tease that off. So that's three areas, a little bit of plaque. That'll be plenty. What we do is take the little cover slip and just... Oh, I can't see. Gently let it drop on there, and then I take one piece of gauze and just gently um, squish the, dry up the, the fluid that's around the edges of that so that we can next seal it up. If you don't seal it, oxygen gets underneath it, and then the, uh, it's contam the sample is contaminated with oxygen. It'll kill the bacteria. It dries it out. So you want to seal it up with the sealer. Keeps all the air out, and you've got a nice sample. Now I usually let it sit for at least 20 minutes, which, as it works out, it, I usually just look at this after I'm done cleaning the teeth. So that'll sit for a while, and it'll kind of reorganize and get back to its normal behavior, and then we'll look at it later.